My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb. Jake? James, Tuesday, formerly my f- worst favorite day of the week. Least favorite. Still my worst. Formerly and still. How are you doing? I'm doing well. A little break from the ocean where my son uh, continuously tries to drown himself. So that's a wild time. Family trait, though. No fear. So that's on you. Just run straight into the ocean. It's nonstop. Let's get into the sports. What do you got? James, we're starting with our Yanks. Carlos Rodon, he blows a kiss to the fans in the stands, but not as romantic as you might think. It was because he was getting heckled. So interesting one here because they talk about it after the game and he was like, well, if I do anything else than that, it would have been a lot worse. So it's kind of like, okay. Yeah, could have thrown a chair like the reliever Ah. back in Oakland. Threw a chair at that woman's face. Throw a ball. Throw a ball. Could have said something like, frick you. Double birds. Yes, I like that. Blew a kiss. I think the guy, you know, in my head, he's saying, kiss Ooh. my ass. Let's say all the things the fan could have said. Oh, you mother licker. You stink. Be better. <laughs> you think that would get Warren a kiss? <laughs> you stink. Be better. Be better. The be better was a big part of that. That's nice heckling. We support it. I'm not upset about it. Just go pitch well. That's all we ask. Yeah. Show the fire and the feist. Low kisses after every start, if you're good. Double up. Jim, we have kind of an opposite situation in almost a breakdown you're a hockey guy so this is hockey in thailand is where this took place and i'm very interested to see how the people from thailand got into hockey ice hockey on ice right who brought it there who's Who's responsible there's articles there's articles who brought hockey to thailand there's articles about that this one kid his team was tied zero zero they score three goals in the third period to move on then a fight ensues because the other team they got nothing to play for anymore suspend me we just lost we're out this kid's smarter than that Mm. he goes to the corner and he uh, puts on a show. He fights an invisible opponent and really gets after it, which I appreciate. The only suggestion I have, Jake, is that I don't know if he took any punches. I kind of need the liar, liar. I'm kicking my own ass. His level of theatrics were perfect. Could have taken a couple self blows. Easy. Whew. Close call. Second shooter. Yeah, and I think the I think the score is important here. Tied game going into the third. Old hockey rival rivalry. Thailand and. Not Thailand? Hong Kong. The Battle of Asia? I don't know. I don't know what they refer to it as. It's a good... (laughs) (laughs) That's honest. And that's all I ask from you, so thank you. Let's kick it. Let's kick it. More sports. Kick it. No. Jim in more sports. Woo, woo. Hidden ball trick. Every baseball fan at one point learns the rules. To a hidden ball trick. The pitcher can't be on the mound. I like that this was listed as a rule. The umpire needs to know what you're doing. Yeah, and, which well, is half true. They just need to see the tag. But a lot of times baseball fans don't know that that if you're going to put on a hidden ball trick, you will go to the umpire beforehand right. and let him know like, hey, we're going to attempt this so he doesn't miss it. This is a good one because we have a short king, Dan Frias, 5'9", who he has his finger outside the glove yeah, and he's got the ball pinched behind his glove. So he's just holding his hand normally. The pitcher's off the mound. Runner takes a step off third base. Bada bing, bada boom. You're out. And I like that the base runner didn't fight it at all. This, I tag you. We're saying out. Ball's in my hand and I tag you with the glove, right? Is that a glove or a hat right now? Are glove. we How much of, okay, that's glove. a glove. Say I have the ball on the back of the glove so like this and I tag you with the glove are we saying that's an out because because the, the rule is that if the ball's in the glove in the, the glove, glove counts as a tagging device I think I would say yes it counts someone throws me the ball I'm bobbling it I have it pinned to the back of my glove with my other hand right and I touch him with just the glove I would think that counts that counts I think hands are part of the glove both hands oh, I have boy. this hand not counting this hand count it. to get the rule experts coming in the comments that's going to be fun because everyone likes that nice oh a ruckus occurs outside let's kill let's go back to the let's kill you said jim we've got something that i don't think you would ever bet on but if you did you go to DraftKings. a woman gets hit by an apparent meteorite while relaxing and you you were locked into this you were like scoped in this is the first option for not sports if jake doesn't want to talk about this we have another option we can do because this woman got hit by a rock that her neighbor threw at her and Mm. she's spinning it to that she's so special that a meteor landed on her and i just not really gonna stand for that and i think the neighbor's pissed too like what 
I chucked a rock at your head because I hate you. Right. And now she's in the newspapers and the neighbors pissed. This was in the French town of Schirmick. Three, Three, two, one, zero. two and a half. Yeah. Zero. They get, you're calling Fugazi on this. Uh, yes. Yeah. I'm calling Fugazi on this. I mean, the most famous incident of meteorite strike was 1954 when a woman in Alabama was struck by a meteorite that fell through the roof of her home. That is believable. No one can throw a rock through the roof of your home. You need to be fast. You need to have some distance. Like, that's cool. You don't feel for our friend here that's now living in fear because they could get hit by a rock, flying rock at any time? She is loving this. She's in the, she's in the newspapers. It's all she ever wanted. We don't have her name. So that would be my only counter to the attention she's getting is that the name's not listed in the article. And that lets you know that everyone else is a little suspect. Why is this suspect so small? It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. Boom, 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 boom. The monster. Zach? No. Oh. <laughs> Maybe employee of the month or something like this, but let me see who it is. And the employee of the week is the New York Stock Exchange. I don't know. There are new warehouse champions. I don't know if you could give it to a team. I haven't been around. Last week was your first week back? Just one day. Relive that one day. Oh, it was exhausting to to not talk for like three weeks straight and then come here for one day talk and talk for eight hours straight. I was like, oh man, we really built up a stamina. Yeah. I was very tired. So me again? Wow. For my wow. one day? Oh, he's back. Eat it, crook line. No. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. If you're wondering what you could use $150 in bonus bets on, try DraftKings Same Game Parlays, where you can combine multiple bets from the same game into one big bet for a shot at an even bigger payout. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DUMB, bet $5 on any wager, get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DUMB, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. At least do it nobly. I don't trust myself with that. This woman was just laying around in her backyard and her neighbor threw a rock at her. I did this to my sister once with a tennis ball. She was just laying on the trampoline and I, from the other side of the fence. I went, and I took a wiffle ball and I threw it over the fence onto the trampoline to scare her right in the forehead. Just clocked her, came down right in the forehead. She woke up, had a bruise. I laughed so hard. Forehead. I felt terrible about the perfect aim I had. And also, you did it was not awesome. feel terrible for a second. <sighs> Which sister? Ritzy. I would never okay. do that. My older sister, she'd kick my ass.